Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? Happy Friday everybody, finally made it to the weekend. Although it's still not the weekend for me because I shoot my videos in advance so I can get them edited and uploaded. Anyway, uh, let's jump to this week's channel shout out. Left. But it turns out I had three left. And I think I've actually drawn all three of these names before. So the first is the MI Woodsman who hasn't been making videos, John. Miss, your, miss seeing you, brother. Last week was like that too. I drew, I drew, uh, oh yeah, Eddie hadn't been making videos lately either. So, hope you guys are okay. It'd be nice if you commented every now and then so we know that you're uh, good. So we got to Fab Creations, who actually I was going to talk about anyway because I, I had a previous question about the manger. And then we have Adventure Roads. Uh, three great channels with some awesome people. And with that, I'm out of names. I gotta add a few more because I think I'm missing a few, but I'll have to fix that. Alright, so Adventure Roads is right here next to Muskrat Gym Survival, Carolina Chris Outdoors, The Legend Ron T. Sawyer, Shalisa Shell, Black and White Fire Starters. Fab Creation stickers right here next to Joseph Russell. Open air fish market. Then we have Hike with Mike and MI Woodsman. Uh, backyard Country uh, Custom Knives sneaked in over here. Carolina Chris Outdoors. Oh, backpacking with Buckley. Dominic, Dominic, Dominic Manischetti. Uh, we got here, we got uh, Plain Old Chuck. Michael Brunner's just squeezed in right here next to Allie Carroll and James G. So, right in the middle of a bunch of great company. What was the other name? How about not missing somebody? Did I just brain fart again? Dang. Well, alrighty, so uh, MI Woodsman, uh, Venture Roads, and Fab Creations will all be linked down below, and I'll try to, and I'll do, there'll be three or maybe four uh, end cards for their channels. I, I actually thought I only had two left, but I had three, and uh, that empties the container, so which brings me to, I'm thinking about stopping Fired Up Friday and just doing like a channel shout out on like Mondays. Just Put everything back in the container start all over again just do a quick like two three minute video boom 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 uh just basically draw the name you know intro the video draw the name and then exit the video and then put uh their channel will be uh you know, end cards at the end which i've been doing lately and um and just doing going it that way and what am I gonna upload on Friday instead? Well, I'm, I used to just upload, you know, outings or camping trips or whatever I had. Excuse me. So it will be uh, just Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just pure outdoor, mediocre, mediocre channel videos. I, I'm kidding. Uh, just three videos, whatever it is, on day trip or cooking video or gear review or uh, I recently just did a camping trip um, last weekend. I think I'm gonna take this weekend off because I've got enough content for at least a good couple weeks. So and I haven't even started editing uh, the previous trip and then also this last trip. So I've got I've got enough to go and, and get uh, some things done. And I haven't seen a new Top Gun movie yet, so I'm gonna be doing that. I think just take it easy, binge a bunch of stuff on TV or the computer. Uh, maybe edit a couple videos and get in advance. But um, Monday, I think I'm gonna start the shout out. If you don't agree, just let me know, comments. I mean, you always have a voice on my channel. You can always comment, good or bad, say, I agree, I don't agree. Um, keep doing the Fired Up Fridays. I can always start doing them again. I mean, it's, it's not that difficult. I can always just restart it. Maybe I'll just take a little time off from doing it. Uh, I'll, give it I'll give it a shot for June, because today is June 2nd. So I'll, I'll give it a try for the month of June, see how it goes. If you guys are just like, no, bring back the Fired Up Fridays you wanker then I can always rekindle it a little bit down the road but I at least want to do the channel shout out because you know YouTube doesn't promote the little guy and someone has to and I, I like to shout out for that reason 
you know, when I comment, when I go to comment on some videos that I've mentioned, I'll look down, I'll see your names on there, and I'm like, oh, great, they, they went over and checked it out. Even if you don't subscribe, you can go over and always just watch a couple vids, comment, say, oh, that's cool, or, yeah, you know, you're not going to like everybody on, on YouTube, you're just not. I mean, it's just the way it is. I've had people recommend channels, and it's like, eh, or sometimes, you know, either you don't like the content, or sometimes you just don't like the host. You know, it happens. You can't like everybody. I'm sure there's plenty of people who just took a look at my channel and said, yeah, it's not for me. So, it's, it happens. I mean, it happens all through life. You know, you, I've had coworkers I didn't like, you know. Friends of friends I didn't care for. You know, it's just the way it is. So, anyway, uh, yeah, that's just the thought. Okay, so I had a question last week. For those of you who are new to the channel or just don't know, or haven't seen it. This is the uh, Fab Creations stove made by Bruce at Fab Creations. Uh, really cool guy, great brother. Uh, he makes these. I don't know what he charges. You have to email him and ask him uh, through his channel. I'll I'll either throw a card right here. Uh, should be about right here somewhere. There'll be a card, and I'll also throw his uh, link and in, in a channel link down in the description. I'll also link a video that I made. I went over this in another stove that he made. I'll throw that in as well in the description. So yeah, let's uh, get to the fatwood. All right, so I got my dollar store uh, stove here. Dollar store cutting board. And uh, this is actually a piece of Washington fatwood we got in Eastern Washington. And uh, it may not be as fat as it used to be. Wow, the mosquitoes are thick here. Get away. Oh, cut some, uh, well, literally cut some kindling. Digging, digging too big a piece, pieces. Try to do some, get that spine to work for me. Man, I can really smell that, that turpentine. Once I cut down into it, it really, really picked up the smell. It smells just like a household cleaner, like pine saw or something. Some really killer fat wood. That's a great score. Shavings in here. All right. I don't want this to be too big because we've got a. Uh, I've got a school next to me. It should be. School should be starting soon, so. We got some shavings in there. All right. At the uh, Dominator, a Dominic Manichetti. Uh, made the handle, which is awesome, and then he also, uh, oh, I'm out of camera, he made the handle, 
and then I attached a uh, Nathan 401 ferro rod. We do a test. We don't want to misfire like last week. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's back up a little bit. I zoomed in. Come on. No, the wrong way. I don't want you guys to miss the strike. Well, no one and done, but oh, look at the smoke coming off of there. Excellent. I guess the camera is a little tilted. Now, look at that burn. Dang gum. Yeah, that was some pretty awesome fatwood. I uh, literally waited. I was sitting here at 10 minutes, which I'm gonna I'm gonna speed through all the, the the burn. But I was on 10 minute burn and it's still going. That is some sweet fatwood. Just the outside got a little dry, but the inside was still. Yeah, it had some dark smoke. It wasn't a one and done, but you know it's all right. It's still going though. Man, pretty badass. I think that should be about it. All right, well, I do, uh, I do appreciate you watching today's, uh, this week's video. Uh, there'll be links down in the description. There should be cards floating around up in here somewhere. So I'm um, going to start doing uh, shout outs for this week. And as always, let's not forget uh, 22 a day. And past uh, this past Monday was Memorial Day. So I tip my hat to our fine servicemen and women out there from our recruits all the way to our veterans. You know, past Monday was uh, Memorial Day and I didn't say anything about it. And I, and I realized it after the fact and then I felt bad to kind of regret. So, you know, our veterans, our ser active servicemen and women, you know they're all appreciated you know 10 times over and um, you know let's not forget as well 22 a day 22 of our veterans take their lives daily and that's one is just too many so I'd like to get it down zero a day if we can and uh, with that have a great weekend and I'll catch you in the next one